We welcome you to St. Louis, Missouri, and the State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. Arch Madness is finally here, and we start things off tonight with Southern Illinois and Bradley. What a terrific matchup, and what a bracket. And we start with SIU and Bradley. The winner faces the number one seed, the 20th ranked team in America, Loyola. Later tonight, Northern Iowa and Illinois State for the right to face Drake. Four quarterfinal games tomorrow, two semifinals on Saturday, and the championship game on Sunday afternoon. And welcome, everyone. I'm Tom Ackerman inside Enterprise Center. Only one school has won this tournament three straight years. That was Southern Illinois in 1993 through 95. Bradley has won back-to-back -back Arch Madness titles and can become the second team to do it. They'll have to pass SIU to do it. Bradley, the defending champions until someone knocks them off. It'll be a tall task. They'll have to run through four days of basketball and right now dealing with suspensions and injuries that have hampered their team. But coming off a nice win, we'll get into that in just a bit. Southern Illinois, a young team, and a team that has a rebounding disadvantage in this game. Bradley gets after it on the boards, and Southern Illinois has struggled in the scoring department as well. We'll see how they match up against a Bradley team that's actually played pretty young here recently, being a bit shorthanded. When we come back, it's a matchup that we've been waiting for. Southern Illinois and Bradley, Milch Holtis and Kevin Lehman have the call from Enterprise Center in St. Louis. Did you hear that? Stay on thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Yeah, look! <laughs> See, surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You care about every detail. And so do we. Every ingredient from our trusted sources. Every ingredient has a purpose. Kirina cares here and here. At Drury Hotels, we know life on the road can be hard, but we're here to make the journey easier. With over 150 locations, our friendly team members and generous free amenities like Wi-Fi, hot breakfast, 530 kickback featuring hot food and cold beverages help brighten your day and make your time away from home easier, allowing you to travel happy. Spices too. Honey, don't worry. I got this. Shopping with says shouts. Peanut butter, peanut butter. Power. Whether you're getting one last item or filling up the pantry, gloom free. No problem. The Schnooks Rewards app helps you bring the entire list home. They call me the King of Collects. Schnooks Rewards. Get the app that gets you. So basically, it's a tiny egg. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament is brought to you by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Zerbita. And by Prairie Farms. Locally owned, locally produced since 1938. Arch Madness in its fourth decade. It's the 31st edition of this great tournament in downtown St. Louis. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mitch Holtis, along with Kevin Lehman. Welcome to the Madness. We get it started with an 8-9 matchup between Southern Illinois and Bradley. Kevin, these are two teams. There's no give up in them, and they're coming in brimming with confidence. Well, they're young. They believe they can win. Why? This is a Bradley team that knocked Drake out of that number one seed and off that number one perch. And a Loyola team that got beat by Southern Illinois. Got Southern Illinois took them into overtime. 
both these teams feel that they can win this game and move on in this arch madness. Yeah, both have a sense of purpose. And when you look at Southern Illinois, they can light up the three-point line, especially Lance Jones. Well, he did it against Loyola the other night. He had 30 points in that game. Lance Jones can get it to the rim with the floater. He's averaged 21 in his last three games, and you can't go below the screen on Lance Jones. He's going to knock in the three ball. He is the alpha dog for the Slookies. They need him to play big to win. And you look at Bradley, it's ranked mass. They're big man. The redshirt freshman can score inside. He can run the court and finish. He can score with either hand in the post. And against the Slukies, he's been 7 of 11 from the three-point line for the Braves. Let's take a look now at our uh, starting lineups to start the tournament. A presentation of Prairie Farms, dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk. There have been injury suspensions, illness for Bradley. This group, though, rallied around the Bradley flag to upset Drake in the last regular season game. Big upset. Southern Illinois, you mentioned they're young, but they've also got some guys emerging. Filowitz inside needs a big game and to try to mitigate the rebounding of the Bradley Braves. Let's take a look now at Kevin Lehman's keys to the game. It's made possible by Grinnell Mutual. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to a Grinnell Mutual agent today. Well, for Southern Illinois, they do a great job of spreading and attacking. They spread you out, and they shoot that three ball, but they got to be strong with the ball, Mitch. They turn it over 20 times against Loyola in that game that went into overtime. You look at the Braves, they want an inside-outside balance. They feel you got to score in the paint or dribble to the paint. And over the top, defensively, they got to go over the top of those ball screens because this is a Southern team that is 24th in the nation in three-point percentage, you can't give them open looks behind those screens. Brian Wardle, back-to-back -back Arch Madness champions. Tom Ackerman told you there's only been one three-peat champion in the history of this tournament. It's Brian Wardle's opponent today, Southern Illinois. But Wardle has done an excellent job of just keeping the boat in the river because it has been a difficult last three and a half weeks for the Bradley Braves, and they fought through it. And then a Valley legacy, a Southern Illinois legacy. Brian Mullins, a Sweet 16 player for Southern Illinois. He was an assistant with Porter Mosier and the Loyola Ramblers that went all the way to the Final Four a couple of years ago and a two-time Defensive Player of the Year in the Valley. His pedigree and his resume uh, goes beyond LinkedIn. It just glows with Valley excellence. A son of a coach, he's also got his brother on his staff. Brendan Moe's helping him out. John Higgins, part of this crew working the game. Jeb Harkness, also part of it. And Antonito Penny, and it is game on. The 31st edition of Arch Madness in downtown St. Louis. America's Renaissance Conference is center stage. Bradley has the first possession of the tournament. High low to mask inside and no double team. And a great give up and challenge at the rim and Filowich is fouling. The athletic Darius Hanna able to slink inside and he'll get free throws. But Filowich, who's uh, improved over the last six to seven weeks. Well, the double came late and great find by Mass to get it to Hanna. This is one area that Bradley dominated in the other two matchups against Southern was at the free throw line. In fact, that win by Bradley, they outscored Southern 20 to 11 at the foul line, but this is not the guy you want there. Hannah is 28% at the line. He's better try to bank him in, I think. He's great from the field. He's good around the rim. That 15-foot free line is yeah. the first day of swimming lessons for him. That was a double fault into the net. We see Sean East with the top of the screen on Jones. And a rare second chance opportunity for Southern Illinois. They are next to last in the nation in offensive rebounding. Only Air Force is worse. But they get a second shot offensive opportunity here on the first time they've touched it offensively in the tournament. The hard double on Kilowitz. Shot clock violation. This is the way Bradley played defense on Saturday night. I had that a game in the upset against Drake, and they played suffocating defense against the Bulldogs. 
From deep in the shot clock, went over the top of the screen. Jones had nowhere to go. Randy again, injuries to Deshaun Henry. The well-documented suspensions from early in February. Nice curl and a look there. This is going to be Bradley's best offense of the entire game, Kevin, and that is getting a second opportunity because they're just the opposite of Illinois. They will go to the glass and hit it hard. One of the top teams in the league in rebound margin. So if you play the Braves, you have to master physicality on the glass. Southern's got to get a body on those white jerseys. There's that high ball screen that Jones likes to refuse at times. Got the defender leaning toward the screen. Jones crossover comes back. We told you he was a big time three point specialist. He had eight in that series against the Ramblers. He had seven in a single game against Northern Iowa. Good take, and that's what Hannah can do. Not great at the foul line, but again, his prowess around the rim is uh, something to be uh, desired. A 6'8", long, left-handed. Big upside for Hannah, but they need him now. Jones, catch and shoot is second three. We came this game shooting 42%. For the last three games, he's been in the upper 50s. And four made threes against Bradley in their first game of the two-game series. And there's Hannah going right to the glass. Well, I like his aggressiveness, Mitch. Got ISO play and took the Bonzo right to the backboard. You know, on a Zoom call earlier in the week with Brian Wardle, how big is it that they have to go downhill, either guards or a guy like Hannah? Well, we see Jones, he's still on fire from that last weekend in Rogers Park. Runs the baseline, does a great job of squaring up quick, the release before the defense gets there. I really like this kid's game, Mitch. Ball fake, drive it, get to the window. Tuck the guard with that length. And there's a nice curl, an inside take for the bucket. As Tabanainen, who's been battling some illness, gets his first bucket of the game. Yeah, he missed that game. We talked about their big win over the Bulldogs. Tabanainen didn't play that game. Defender went over the screen. Curl it, just enough room to pull up jumper. Jones, the threat of Jones allows... Devonzio to get the backdoor cut and a good look that time by Jones to take turn down the shot and find the cutting teammate. Well, Devonzio is the X factor. They use him at the four or the five. He is a tough matchup. And Devonzio's bucket gets answered by Rink Moss' bucket. And he's been good of late. Double figures, eight of the last ten games for the native from the Netherlands. Well, he's having over 12 a game the last ten games. And He's the only Brave who has played in every game this season. Brown awaits in the corner. Trent Brown, the sophomore from the Phoenix area, and already three threes to start the tournament for Southern Illinois. And we talked about the key for Southern, where they're going to spread you out and attack. you got to go out there and guard that three ball. Once you do that, they're going to start to play downhill. And Rink Moss able to hit the three. And that is a confident shot. Just slid to the corner. Feet ready, hands ready. Rink Moss, we mentioned that series against Southern. He hit seven threes on just 11 attempts. Four scoop there, but again, Bradley will create additional opportunities, and Mass steps out. Jones is hurt. He turned an ankle, and now an official's timeout called by John Higgins.
And this is going to be concerning to Brian Mullins. They're going to have to help him off the floor here. The most uh, prolific score that Southern has right now dealing with a, a key injury. Every Sunday, just when you thought it couldn't get any better than crispy, juicy, and tender, we went and added spicy. Introducing McDonald's new spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Because every sunrise is tomorrow's promise made real. And Grinnell Mutual is tomorrow's promise protected. Trust in tomorrow and contact a Grinnell Mutual agent today. Introducing a hotel carefully crafted to leave a vivid imprint in downtown St. Louis. Designed with an effortless sense of style. Experience the luxury of Hotel St. Louis. Hotel St. Louis, exactly like nothing else. Bad news here for the Salukis. Lance Jones, who's been so powerful of late, shooting goes down, defending the drive by Antonio Thomas. And we've just seen too much of this over the past couple of months in this league. Yeah, left ankle gets a twist as he steps right on Antonio Thomas's foot coming down. You see the trainer's going to work on Kevin, I, I could make an all-star list. Look at the, the injured yeah. list of this tournament. Marcus Damask, the great player for Southern Illinois. A.J. Green, Northern Iowa. Tank Hemphill, could he come back for Drake? Roman Penn's out for the year for Drake. Ja'Shawn Henry, Bradley. I could try to win the tournament with those guys, and they're all on the injured list and not playing. You could win the tournament with those guys. That's <laughs> a talented group. Let's hope Jones can come back in. He already had six for his Lukies on a pair of triples. So now Brian Mullins has got to find a Saluki to step up and get the Lance Jones productivity. Look at Brian. And I like what he's doing at Southern Illinois. Losing to Mask was a blow, but he's trying to do it the right way, Kevin. He wants to build it organically. He wants to build it and not microwave it. Well, 80% plus of his points and rebounds were by freshmen and sophomores. This is a young team, just as the Bradley team is. But really building the culture in Southern Illinois. Again, Bradley active defensively, but this young group they've got on the floor has been playing with energy, and they've got length and awareness defensively. It's what they did to Drake. Another team that believes they've overcome those suspensions of three players and have settled in. That was a huge win against the Bulldogs. They did it without Tavanaiden. The assist to the Netherlands. In the bucket to Finland. As the Finn, Vile Tavanainen hits the three. 34% from out there, high volume shooter, 47 made threes, and now Southern answers. Well, that's the spread and attack we talked about. They ball screen on one side of the floor, get the help defense to sink in, and then spray it to that weak side corner. Four made threes for Southern. And Bradley's got a couple themselves. And Verplanken keeps the three-point barrage going. This is the best 
three-point shooting team for Southern Illinois in nearly 20 years. You go back to the Glory 0203 team, and uh, you go back to go back that far. But this Southern team again will illuminate that three-point line. Hey, come on, Lace. And for Plank, they had a big game out of him. He had a huge second half that first game against the Loyola Rammers. He was six of six from the perimeter, and five of those were triples. It's been a three-point barrage, and there's that ball screen. Watch him spray it to the corner, get the defense in the scramble mode. They do that as good as any team in the league, Mitch. They get you in scramble, and then here's for Plank, and this eyes one from the right wing. And Kevin, the other thing I've noticed, their ability to set their feet, either on the move, they are, you've got a shooter ready. You know, one thing's being in a scramble, we see a lot of bad shots taken in college basketball. Every one of these three-point attempts, you feel good about it if you're a Southern fan. Peter said, hands are ready. Yeah, there's a foul. This is going to be an effort foul on Jason Kent, who was one of the heroes of that major upset on Saturday night at Carver Arena in Peoria against Drake. Yeah, Kent, not afraid of the moment. 15 points that game. You know, I saw him in that Missouri game where they almost knocked off a ranked Missouri team. He came off the bench and 11 points in 15 minutes for the freshman, Jason Kent. Austin behind the back pass. Three to shoot. Bradley trying to defend the clock. And they do exactly that. That's twice now. Bradley has forced Southern into a deep shot clock. Excellent hesitation and then a drive and a great screen. And Thomas has his first bucket for the Braves. And Thomas midseason had played much. Got his chance, and he is huge. And another guy, Matt Drake, when he's hit seven of eight free throws down the stretch. Well, that's a sneaky bucket by Filowicz. That was not easy. Double team with a tough angle. And the Canadian has his first points of the tournament. You saw the graphic against Southern Illinois, the only team to win three straight Arch Madness titles back in the mid-'90s with the late Rich Heron leading the way. Chris Lowry, Paul Lusk. Yeah, I remember those teams well. I had a coach against them <laughs> at Northern Iowa. They had a guy named Marcus Timmons and Chris Carr played a little bit in the NBA. They could play both ends of the floor, too. They'd guard you and then break you down when they had the ball. Yeah, we played in the last game, the old Checker Dome. It was 94, Mitch, Northern Iowa team in a championship game. That was a talented team. Deep three attempted by Kent and missed. He's made 14 this year, but five of those 14 were in that Saturday night barrage against Drake. And there's a nice catch and shoot. Trent Brown, his second three of the tournament. And right now, the Southern Illinois Salukis are 6 of 10 from the three-point line. And Lance Jones goes down with the ankle. This team is unfazed. And a good take by Kevin McAdoo, the Eastern Michigan transfer. But right now, it's been shooters ready to shoot it. Let's drive and kick. It's been a barrage of three balls for the Slukies. They're up six. When you choose Bradley, just when you thought it couldn't get any better than crispy juice. ...of a larger university and the personal attention and exceptional learning experiences of a smaller college. With more than 185 undergraduate and graduate programs, small classes taught by engaging faculty in a beautiful 85-acre campus located in the heart of Peoria, Illinois. Our side gives you the best of both worlds. Bradley University. Mid-size, big difference. Protecting the health of your employees, customers, and your business. That's our mission at Janet King. For more than 50 years, Janet King has been the leader in commercial cleaning. And right now, our cleaning and disinfecting service is more essential than ever to your business. Make sure you have a professional cleaning program in place to help keep your business open and healthy. Contact our experts at Janet King for a free cleaning and disinfecting quote. You are beautifully unique, unapologetically academic. 
You're not afraid to color outside the lines, and neither are we. Imagine yourself here in modern labs designed for 21st century students. Drake is a university with a vibrant capital city right next door, where you get a degree that gets employers' attention. This is Drake University, where you will stand out from day one. Learn more at drake.edu. Mitchell's is back with Kevin Lehman in downtown St. Louis, Southern Illinois, with six threes and two twos. And they lead Bradley in their first game of the tournament, 22 to 16. Let's look at our Valley standings through the regular season, a presentation of Zervita. And congratulations to Porter Mosier and the Loyola Chicago Ramblers. Third conference title in four years. What a year they had, 16 and two, 21 and four. Drake could have tied them. They lost the last regular season game of the year to Bradley, and it knocked them down to the two line. But you also see, you're going, wait a minute, these two eight nine teams. But if you've been watching this game so far, you're going, really good eight nine teams. Now, Southern's got an eye on Lance Jones trying to get him back in the game, but that doesn't look so good, Kevin. Yeah, he's out there testing the strength of that ankle. And you, know, you talked about Bradley beating Drake, knocking him out there. And I had that game where Southern took Loyola to the wire in overtime, and there's Lance Jones trying to walk that off. Well, he's got, he could see him turn to the trainer and go, I don't know. Right now his teammates are picking up uh, his slack, but now you got a spread out zone here. It looks like kind of a matchup type look by the Braves. Yeah, Bradley's going to change up the defenses, and that's what Wardle thought he did a great job against Bulldogs. They changed up a couple times. Good driver. For Blanken. Where to the regular season series is very similar to this game. Southern Illinois had 21 threes, 23 twos, and 31 ones. <laughs> For Blanken, big game in that series. Two big games. They had 25 points in those two. A great block. As DeRonzo swats it out of there. And Southern will try to extend the lead. We talk about players with confidence. Devonzo, 16 against Loyola. You just see him brimming with confidence at both ends of the court. Transfer from Lewis, Division Two, and he's adjusted the Division One level very well. Philly Rich on the All Valley freshman team and the Canadian with four to start the tournament. And Philly Rich can score with his left shoulder and his right shoulder. And that's what Sean East was doing to Drake. Going to his left, an unstoppable turn in the corner on that dot tight dribble. I mean, you've got to meet him early. Get his dribble stopped. He plays downhill. He can get all the way to rip. It's a lot of pressure on the defense. And they're going to call us a walk. Look at this great timing by DeFonzo. Keeps it in play, starts the fast break for Southern, and then there's the big Canadian. A little shake and bake inside, turns over his left shoulder, soft off the window. Great missed, hits the three. His second triple, he gives Bradley a great inside outside presence. That is a tough guard. Inconsistent score. And now Southern goes to the high low, and this will be a tie up. Devonzo gets tied up, and Bradley will keep possession. Oh, Rink Mass, we said that series against Southern. He hits seven of these triples. There's a simple pick and pop. Defense is tardy. Rink Mass brings it up for the Braves. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Bottom of the pie. Of 
attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX. Visit your Acura dealer today. The comfort of home, it means a lot. Right now, Regions can help you make it even more comfortable. Rates are low, so it's a good time to consider refinancing. A Regions refi could help you save on interest, reduce monthly payments, or even pay off your mortgage sooner. Just use our online calculator to see what you could save and apply in minutes today. Bring low rates home with Regions. Visit regions.com slash refi now. All Ivy, player of the year, first round draft pick. No matter my achievement, I question if I deserve it. It's a battle with an invisible opponent, imposter syndrome. But I found a way to conquer it. I watch film, not of my mistakes, but of what I'm doing right. Each clip reminding me that there's no imposter here. Train what's under the armor. dealing with another injury or Bradley getting rink masked a good start to this tournament Valley student athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future future Valley pioneers to learn more about mobilizing voices for change visit mvc-sports.com slash one valley and this league has been a pioneer for years in that regard. And a look at Lance Jones, we've been told by the Southern Illinois, the message given to us by the bench that he has questionable return. He's gonna give it a try, but man, he looks like he's a long, long way from getting back into this game. Officially listed as questionable. Six Lukies have scored. Great balance. What a nice cut, Filowicz finds the cutting Ben Harvey. And again, they spread you out. If you double team, a great job of finding cutters or spraying out for the three ball. Right now, eight assists on 11 made baskets for Southern Illinois. Impressive. And they're doing this without the point guard. There's another man down for Southern as a shot missed. Devonzo. And, and Devonzo goes down and he's grabbing his ankle. And again, he came down, he was by himself. It wasn't like the Lance Jones injury. He just comes down awkwardly. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, he does, he does get clipped. Sean East. Inadvertent contact there. But now this is like Bradley was on Saturday night. They came in, again, Marcus Damask was out for Brian Mullen's team on January the 4th. And in the seven games of the 10 that Damask played, he was the leading scorer for Southern Illinois. Last year, he was the freshman of the year in the Valley. So they've adjusted without him, but now they're looking at two guys down. We're at the 7 one mark of the first half. And Devonzo down, and they've already, uh, Lance Jones is questionable. They yeah, mentioned Damask, he had 25 when they went in and broke Butler's home winning streak. You could see Brian Mullen shaking his head like, what next? Well, and when they don't have a lot of room is, there's Marcus Damask right there. He's been foot on a stroller and foot in a boot. As you mentioned, early January, I had him in the game against Drake. It was the last time he played. Lance Jones continues to try to walk to get loose. This looks a little better for Devonzo, so we might see him back. But look at this, as far as inexperience with all the injuries of the young guys, these two teams, especially Southern, coming into the tournament, 62 total minutes. Yeah, that's from March Madness experience with these guys. Yeah, that's from Lance Jones and Trent Brown, who was 62 minutes. And the problem they have inside is you've got Filowicz, 
and you use the Bonzo to play that four or five spot, and then Siku Dembele is their backup man because they had the injury early to J.D. Mula, who was going to be their starting center, the Juco transfer from Indian Hill. So that this is going to be uh, – they got Dembele in there now with four guards. We got the mismatch inside on Mast. And a three-second violation. As Mask got caught inside, he knew he was calling for the ball, but a good job by the perimeter defense to prevent the entry. Yeah, they had Harvey on him. He was trying to get the post up. Lots of pressure on the entry pass. They couldn't find him. Boy, Dembele can't finish. Southern had it perfectly set up. The defender on the top of the ball screen, the belly to the front of the rim. And a three that's needed by the Braves. Sean East is just 33% from the three-point line. That's his 21st make. He was 0 for 6 against Drake Saturday from three. Well, most defenders will go below the screen on the ball screen of Sean East, but I've seen him have some big games. He's got the guts of a cat burglar. You know, talking with Brian Wardle was interesting. They, just the guts that they showed to get that Drake upset. He talked about what he loved the most was they showed winning toughness. He called it a talent. Yeah, toughness was a talent, is that Brian Wardle quote. And you know, he uses that CDR, compete, defend, and rebound. That's the mantra of these Bradley Braves. They just rebound. Second shot offense doesn't go home, though, from Sean East. Both teams started out hot. Now you start to see them slow down a little bit as these defenses have settled in. That's a strong move, Ben. Harvey able to get it done, and he's got seven in the first half. They need him to get going. He has not scored well the last couple games. Harvey, their transfer from Eastern Illinois. He's 6'6", can really put it on the deck and finish at the rim. There's a deep three now. Kent was making those Friday, and there again, the offensive rebounding prowess of Bradley. Well, the white jerseys ran there, Mitch, and they just tipped it back out. They didn't knew they couldn't corral it. I think it was Mass got a piece of it. They slap at the ball, gives them an extra possession. And another three-point miss. Bradley now four of ten beyond the arc. A reminder, stay tuned for a halftime report made possible by State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And look at these two coaches. Again, Brian Mullins, what a great history he has, not only in this tournament, but as the two-time Valley Defensive Player of the Year when he was playing for the Salukis, part of a Sweet 16 run, when he was the point guard for SIU. And then on Porter Mosier's staff for six seasons and part of that NI, or, uh, NCAA Final Four run. Remember they called back in Florburn U how hard the Slukies play and that's the culture that he's bringing back to this program. I remember going to some of those Saluki practices. <laughs> I can vouch for Florburn U. There was no out of bounds. The ball was live everywhere. No, the, the bleachers, the old SIU arena configuration, there's a lot of room on the floor. I mean, they would chase the ball down the hallway. I saw him actually go down the hallway battling for a loose ball. But one man came back and one didn't. One came back, one didn't. There's a three, and Ben Harvey right now is stealing the show in this first game of Arch Madness. Ten for Ben Harvey. He's a tough cover. He's six six and put it on the ground, get by it, and can shoot the three ball. He had 29 in a game at his former school, and there's the take by Sean East. He just kills you softly, Sean East. Like his game. Transfer from UMass. There's that ball movement. They're getting a big game out of Ben Harvey. The injuries, Harvey pulls up, hand in his face, no problem. Three ball for the Slookies. 
Just when you thought it couldn't get any better than crispy, juicy, and tender, we went and added spicy. Introducing McDonald's new spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. I used to be bad with money, but I'm not anymore. I got my money right, but so far. Thanks, so far, for helping us get our money right. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Do it yourself. Yes. Do it for yourself. So you're a business that's thriving. But then, oh, don't just bounce back. Bounce forward with serious and reliable gig speed internet. But is it secure? Sure, it's secure. So how do I do this? We do this together. Bounce forward with Comcast Business. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. With a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the hit. And Southern Illinois, with a great history in this tournament, is playing to that history with a 33-28 lead against Southern from three, has made three, a seven three-pointers, seven of 14 attempts out there with the advantage and losing Lance Jones early. But how about Ben Harvey to start the uh, tournament? Yeah, he's been good, and he scored inside and outside. And you see Devonzo back in the lineup. That's a good sign for the Slukies. Number 33 there, walking right behind Ben Harvey. Bradley also shorthanded. Deshaun Henry out, and then they suspended players earlier from February. Got six scholarship players in that win over the Drake Bulldogs after Henry went down with the ankle injury. Crazy. They beat Drake without five of the top six scores for the final 31 minutes of that game. He held Drake to two of 17 from three. But not today so far. Southern is using the three ball with his five point lead. The mismatch inside again. Mass got the switch. For Plankin did a good job of fronting. That's a shot that Bradley's got to make to try to get that entry pass even to be a possibility as Thomas gets his second main bucket of the first half. Well, they didn't pressure Thomas, which they should have, because Burr Plankin had the front on mass, so that defender was in no man's land. Well, the cutting by Sonnen, but Harding defended at the rim. I think he's good in transition, Sean East. Like his game, you mentioned his upside so fast, long, and able to finish at the rim against Biggs. Well, the transfer view mass. There's Tom and Heinen starting the break. East with a full head of steam. Crosses over and takes it right down the in your living room. It's a soft touch and gets the basket. East with nine, and a reminder when the Valley Television Network goes to the campuses around the league, these are our properties, our homes away from home, so to speak. The hotels consistently support the league and its 10 member institutions. Now, a lot of you have youth teams traveling during the uh, spring and summer, looking at vacation time. These places are the places to stay. Please call and visit the website so these properties are making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. Uh, walking through, uh, let's see, after four 
I don't know, a couple feet of snow in Chicago. It was awesome to get to that hotel. Oh, I don't know, Cedar Falls at minus 18 real temperature, minus 30 wind chills. Great to get into the hotel. Those places are, uh, they save our lives, Kevin. Oh, and uh, you go out and start your car early to make sure you can get to the game. Make sure that thing starts. I was up at that game. You mentioned Northern Iowa. It was 18 below. I got off the L thinking I only got a block walk to get to that hotel, but it was like when I did a run. There's a foul on East. He was trying to pressure the shooter, as we know is a, a necessary matter, but East thought he got ball. Well, we're over the top of the screen, and we talked about one of the keys for Bradley. You've got to go over the top of the screen, those shooters. And here's what impressed me about Southern. Watch the way they ball fake and shot fake. They will freeze defenders. It helps them spray the basketball around. It's like watching the Cardinals take infield practice at spring training and a three in the corner. It started with the double team inside on Filowich. He kicks it out, and they spray it right around and find that weak side corner. Their movement without the ball, their positioning without the ball. I mentioned the feet, hands ready to go. As good as you'll find. Southern scrambling on defense. Their movement defensively mirrored their offensive movement. They came with hands high. Sean East with a contested three. Eight second differential shot clock, game clock as we near the half. Winner gets Loyola tomorrow. Harvey leaves the defender in the dust, and Harvey's got 12 first half points. They like to get him the ball in that high post, the funnel area, and let him go one on one. Ben Harvey. It's been a great game in the first half. He's made tough shots too, Kevin. It's not like these are unguarded. Well, this is a set play. He gets him. He's isolated on a defender. It's a great pivot move. Makes it look easy. Harvey has made five of nine shots, two of those from three. Again, started his career at Eastern Illinois. I mentioned 29 against Simo in a game that he had there for the Panthers. His roommate is Damask, and I asked Damask, I said, uh, what kind of roommate is he? He goes, oh, he's okay. Which told me he wasn't cleaning the room like he should. He was, that vacuum cleaner wasn't going in Ben Harvey's hand. Well, you know what? If he shoots it like this and you're his teammate, he goes, I'll cover that part. Just <laughs> stay hot. Ryan Mullins again doing this. If you joined us late in a Saluki fan, Lance Jones injured in the early moments of this game. Listed as a questionable return. But the slack has been duly picked up by the teammates. We're going the Salukis. There's fouls to give here. This was actually yeah. smart at 8.2. Banks fouls, but that's only the third team foul on Southern. I mean, they could foul this clock all the way down if they want. Right. They tried to get Mass that time on a pick-and-pop move. But as you said, intentional foul. They're going to do it again. And it's, guess what he's in to do? Jacoby Long. He's the well-traveled Jacoby Long. Started at Iowa State. Now they're going to try to foul him again, or they get... Nope, they got a shooter in the corner. It works for Southern Illinois, even though they didn't burn up fouls, and a good half for the Salukis. No, they certainly were. They shot it lights out, 58% from three. Big game from off the bench from Ben Harvey. See, leading the Salukis with 12. It's Brian Mullen's team dealing with a lot, but a good first 20 minutes for his squad. Wardle will try to get it rallied for Bradley. When we come back, Tom Ackerman's got a great halftime set up for you, Southern Illinois by six. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Butter -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. 
With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. Objection! My credit card doesn't earn double miles on every purchase. I object to your objection. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase. Order. Please read counselor's last statement. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase. I'll allow it. No further questions, Your Honor. Well, just one. What's in your wallet? It was never about the goal. It was always about the goals. I didn't reach him just by training my body, but my mind as well. So close your eyes. Visualize all the ways you could break through. Then, imagine everything that could go wrong. A false start, a bad turn, broken goggles. Now picture yourself staying calm and overcoming every obstacle. Open your eyes. Train what's under the armor. Magenta. I hate cartridges. Not magenta, not magenta. I'm not going back to the store. Magenta! Cartridges are so. The Epson Eco Tank. No more cartridges. It comes with an incredible amount of ink that can save you a lot of frustration. <laughs> the Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at. This isn't just a Wi-Fi upgrade. This is X-Fi Complete from Xfinity. Bye. State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Mercy, your life is our life's work. Welcome back to our halftime report, a presentation of State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Southern Illinois leads Bradley by 6, 38-32 at the break. The Salukis dealing with as if they haven't dealt with enough. More injuries. Lance Jones looked like he turned his left ankle, tried to walk it off, and really in a lot of pain, started off the first half with a couple of threes. The Salukis are off and running, and then an injury to their top scorer, averaging 14 points a game. Anthony Devonzo also went down for a moment with an injury. We also know they're out with their best player, Marcus Damask. He's been out for quite a while. But Southern Illinois finds a way to take a lead at the half and a good battle by Bradley as well. We had a lot of scoring in this first half. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at our first half highlights. It's made possible by Hotel St. Louis, where historic meets hips. So good, so quick. Sean East, and he can do this too now. He only shoots about 33% from beyond the arc, but he can do it and he can drive. And in transition, not many quicker than Sean East getting to the basket for Bradley and the lefty making things happen. And then Ben Harvey comes alive here for the Salukis in this first half when they needed a boost with Lance Jones out and Jones applauding from his position being worked on by trainers, Harvey providing the entertainment. 12 points for the Saluki guard on two of four from beyond the arc and five of nine from the floor. 12 points in 12 minutes for Harvey. And the Salukis have a six-point lead. Enterprise Center in St. Louis. We'll be back with our State Farm halftime report after this. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. The Capital One Quicksilver card does not need a dog and pony show. It's simple. Unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase with no annual fee. No need to jump through any crazy hoops. What's in your wallet? This is a color laser printer. And this is the color toner cartridge. It's so expensive, people just print in black and white so they don't have to keep buying them. Walk with me. 
max them up. The Epson Ego Tank cartridge free printer. Big ink tanks, lots of ink. And you can save a ridiculous amount on replacement ink. Print color all you want without busting your budget. But you might be busting the move. The Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at. T Mobile is upgrading its network at a record pace. We were the first to bring 5G nationwide. And now that Sprint is a part of T-Mobile, we're turning up the speed, upgrading over a thousand towers a month with ultra capacity 5G to bring speeds as fast as Wi-Fi to cities and towns across America. And we're adding more every week. Coverage and speed. Who says you can't have it all? Can't help it if I'm popping, see them watch out. It's outrageous how this flavor got them shook. Hold on. Work, 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 Limitless possibility. Insurance when you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Southern Illinois leads Bradley first game of Arch Madness, and they lead it by six. And the Salukis hampered by injuries. Lance Jones goes out in the first six minutes of the ball game with an ankle injury. And the Salukis able to recover, knocking down 50% of their three pointers, and they lead it by six points. I'll tell you, never have we had more of a need for bench players in this league. With COVID-19 protocol, seemingly injuries across the board, suspensions and everything else, it has been a very important thing. And let's review members of the NBC Men's Basketball All-Conference teams. Presentation of the Drury Inn Plaza St. Louis who reminds you to travel happy. Drake, Evansville, Bradley, Loyola, all benefiting from these players. And you think about what Deshaun Henry has done for this Bradley team. Of course, Kennedy for Loyola and the 20th ranked team of the nation getting great contributions across the board. Evansville has been a pleasant surprise. And Curtis has been very good for that team. And Drake's two terrific guards. It has been a wonderful run for the Drake Bulldogs. And it is partly due to the depth that they've been able to have. We've seen Henry, uh, we've seen Bradley, and we've seen Bradley deal with not only Henry, but a lot of suspensions and uh, injuries and illnesses across the board. This basketball game here between Southern Illinois and Bradley has been a pleasant surprise, I'd say. Great scoring early on. Southern Illinois with 38 points at the break, knocking down shots from the outside against a Bradley team that hangs its hat on defense. We'll see what can happen the next time around when you look at the rebound advantage that Bradley has had throughout the season. Going up against the Southern Illinois team definitely has to be a focus here in the second half, trying to get back to where they are, and that is putting themselves in a position to defend this championship. It's going to be some second half. Southern Illinois has fired the first shot. We'll be back for the second half after this. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better than crispy, juicy, and tender, we went and added spicy. Introducing McDonald's new spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Accurate TLX, visit your Accurate dealer today. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. Objection! My credit card doesn't earn double miles on every purchase. I object to your objection. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase. Order. Please read counselor's last statement. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase. I'll allow it. No further questions, Your Honor. Well, just one. What's in your wallet?
magenta. I hate cartridges. Not magenta, not magenta. I'm not going back to the store. Magenta! Cartridges are so... The Epson Eco Tank. No more cartridges. It comes with an incredible amount of ink that can save you a lot of frustration. <laughs> the Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at... When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Southern Illinois by six in what's been a free-flowing offensive game. Only three fouls called on each team in the first half. It's been a lot of fun, quite honestly. 58% shooting for SIU. That's not a lot of fun for Brian Wardle. He'll have to find a way, especially on the perimeter, to stop SIU's three-point shooting. Eight of 16 from beyond the arc. Bradley, as they usually do, out-rebounding the Salukis. Not by much, though. And the bench points, of course, very important for SIU with Lance Jones out with an ankle injury. The assists, they've been sharing the ball quite well, and SIU has been leading throughout pretty much this entire first half. It's been very impressive. Now, here's the question. Will SIU be able to withstand another 20 minutes? Remember, they're young. We'll see what they can endure. But this Bradley team playing a lot of young players here. It's an intriguing matchup between SIU and Bradley. The second half is right around the corner from Enterprise Center in Arch Madness. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Accurate TLX, visit your Accurate dealer today. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. Objection! My credit card doesn't earn double miles on every purchase. Overruled. With the Venture Card, it's every purchase. Whoa. What's in your wallet? Magenta. I hate cartridges. Not magenta, not magenta. I'm not going back to the store. Magenta! Cartridges are so... The Epson Eco Tank. No more cartridges. It comes with an incredible amount of ink that can save you a lot of frustration. <laughs> the Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at. What do I smell? What colors do I see? What music is playing? When you walk out to the ring, there's nothing more important than confidence. So you've got to train your mind to protect it. I do that by focusing on what's around me, never letting the moment get too big. When that bell sounds, nerves are nowhere to be found. Confidence is half the battle when breaking through, so protect it. Train what's under the armor. Verizon believes everyone deserves the best. That's why we start with 5G from America's most reliable network. Verizon 5G is next level. And offer the best in entertainment like Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus with a Galaxy S21 Plus 5G when you buy one. Only from Verizon. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament is brought to you by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Zervina. And by Prairie Farms. Locally owned, locally produced since 1938. Beautiful Union Station. Not far from our vantage point here at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis. The vantage point for Brian Mullins and his Salukis have been from the three-point line. Salukis leading 38-32. Virtue of eight made threes on 16 attempts from out there. The injuries, though, are an issue for the Salukis. Lance Jones goes down early in this game. And Jones limped off. Looked like he's going to be back. And then they lost Devonzo later on in a play here where he goes down. He's able to come back in. And here's what's amazing. The point guard goes down. Jones, Salukis only with three turnovers in that first half, Mitch. 
And I wonder if Bradley won't try to crank up the heat defensively and maybe pick them up and use their athleticism. Look at Rink, Rink Mast, who uh, was leading uh, second leading scorer for Bradley in the first half. They went to him early, and he got some switches inside. The pressure by the Slukies on the perimeter passing, they couldn't get the ball entered to Mass. I tried to get it back into the big fella. They were trying to get an ISO inside in his first possession and drew a foul on the Salukis. Great rotation defensively, and the intercept by Trent Brown. Great read by Brown. He saw that one come and masked with a double team, tried to spray it along the baseline. We yeah. talked about rebounding, long, long shot, long rebound. It is rare when the Salukis get a second shot offensive chance. Remember, next to last in the nation in offensive rebounding, only Air Force is behind them, but that time they get precisely that to get their biggest lead of the game at eight. There's the switch again. There's the read again by Trent Brown. His second interception in two possessions in the second half. The ball fake, Mitch. Ball fake to freeze the defense. And Dalton Banks gets his first bucket of the game. Kind of an odd move there. However, the spacing again. And Bradley with a quick timeout. It's a double-digit lead for Southern Illinois. Their ball movement has been outstanding throughout this game. The ball gets sprayed around the perimeter. Lots of ball fakes, and Banks just puts his head down, keeps the pivot foot down. The defense goes by, comes up with the left hand and gets it in the basket. Ten-point lead. When we say crispy, juicy, tender, this is the juicy and tender, and this is the crispy. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. ba da ba ba, -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. Objection! My credit card doesn't earn double miles on every purchase. Overruled. With the Venture Card, it's every purchase. Oh. What's in your wallet? This is a color laser printer. And this is the color toner cartridge. It's so expensive, people just print in black and white so they don't have to keep buying them. Walk with me. That's enough. The Epson Eco Tank cartridge free printer. Big ink tanks, lots of ink. And you can save a ridiculous amount on replacement ink. Print color all you want without busting your budget. But you might be busting the move. The Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at. Gillette Pro Glide. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke. So you're ready for the day with a fresh face for a fresh start. For a limited time, get a fifth cartridge free. This isn't just a Wi-Fi upgrade. This is XFi Complete from Xfinity. With unlimited data and advanced security, you'll have complete peace of mind online and will ensure that you get the most Wi-Fi coverage. Learn more about XFi Complete today. 20th rank Loyola in the one seed. The regular season champion awaits the winner of this game. Southern Illinois leading right now 42-32. We're not going to see Lance Jones the rest of the day. They've got ice on that uh, injured lower leg that he had earlier in this game, but they haven't needed him because his teammates have stepped up. Trent Brown, but Lance Jones in a lot of pain. So explosive. 30 against Loyola on the last weekend of the regular season. That was his career high, but the other guys have picked up the slack for the uh, Salukis. In the second half, Jones against Loyola. Jones had 20, the entire Loyola team had 18 as that game went into overtime. 
Bradley really emphasizing trying to get the ball into Rick Mast. Good job by Filowicz to wall up that time defensively. Going to go under the ball screen on East. He turned back but couldn't finish. So Illinois shooting 57%, including 8 of 18 from three point range. So in the first half, six of their nine assists for the Slukies were on three balls. That one was a little bit out of rhythm from Trent Brown. They opened the second half with a play for Brown to get him a three, and that one came up short. Didn't look tough on that last three either. Oh, look at Bass, wide open inside. They didn't find him. Well, we might as well. It's either Arch Madness or the Olympic Games because the Netherlands just scored on Canada. They've been trying to get the ball into Mast, or if we're doing the FIBA game, Rink Mast. And... They've been trying to get it in there and finally got it done. Now can they get it done then the defensive end for Bradley? Well, they're better off without the switch. You got Tillowich on his backside and just scored in the post. They're planking. Southern Illinois getting it done at the rim. The well, second half, they're getting the shots at the rim against this Bradley defense. Well, the double teams come from the weak side in the post. And no one's dropping down to cover up that pass. They've scored twice in this game on that shovel pass to Filowicz. Verplanken is fouling. Second foul on Verplanken. For all the latest news and results for the 2021 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship, be sure to download the Arch Madness app as presented by Schnooks, a proud sponsor of Valley Athletics. <laughs> Map is awesome. Now Jacoby Long's going to come in and burn up some uh, minutes here for Plankin. Will set with a second personal foul. And Thomas back in for Bradley while McAdoo has been battling a wrist injury will set. Well, East has had good looks. He just has not been able to get it completed. He's had two skip off the rim. And this might be the key for Bradley the rest of the game. Can they get some open floor turnovers? Only the fourth turnover by the Slukies. Live ball in the turn into points. You mentioned, Mitch, more pressure on the ball in the second half by Bradley. But the back cut to Harvey. Again, a basket at the rim. Third consecutive for the Salukis. Antonio Thomas turned his head. Bobby goes right to the rim. A force three then from Tavaninen. The rotations by Bradley, you can tell they got some new bodies out there. They're just not quite clicking defensively. Let's see when there's a double team. That backside rotation is not happening fast enough. Look at those ball fakes, Mitch. Four to shoot. Southern's pulled off. They've had the same looks they got in the first half. Mash trails. He can hit that shot. This will be off Southern. Bradley will keep it. The Ben Harvey so far is the headliner for Southern Illinois. And he's had 12 of the first half. He just back cuts outside the vision of defender, and Harvey scores at the rim for the Salukis. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. New Dove Men deodorant is different. It has 48-hour protection and a plant-based moisturizer that cares for your skin. Odor protection that works. New Dove Men plant-based care. Whoa, Susan. Oh. 
I'm looking for coupon codes. Well, Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. It's called Shopping Smart, not hard. But I don't have a Capital One card. You should get one, but you don't need it for this. Just download Capital One Shopping to your computer. It's free. Ooh, save me some cheddar. So, when's the party? I love fondue. Really? I never joke about hot cheese, Susan. Me neither. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? I can't help it if I'm popping, see them watch how to It's outrageous how this flavor got Limitless you. possibilities. The boldly new 2021 Nissan Kicks. Verizon believes everyone deserves the best. That's why we start with 5G from America's most reliable network. Verizon 5G is next level. And offer the best in entertainment like Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus with a Galaxy S21 Plus 5G when you buy one. Only from Verizon. This is Jim. He's working from home while keeping an eye on the kids. And he still had time to start his own bracket group. What's your excuse? Sign up at ESPN.com slash bracket and start your group today. You can tell this is really crispy. Game for most of it, as we are back in St. Louis and look at downtown St. Louis on the arch. Great history for the Salukis in this tournament. Let's go to the brackets. Presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to a Grinnell Mutual agent today. The winner of this game gets the 20th ranked Ramblers of Loyola, Chicago, Indiana State. Something could win the tournament. They are uh, coming in hot. Uh, taking on their in-state rival Evansville in the 4-5 game. Following us in the first uh, second game of the first round, Northern Iowa, always dangerous against Illinois State. Drake awaits that winner. And then Missouri State, some think they could win it against the Valparaiso team that the last part of February now, look out for Valpo too, a dangerous six seed. Yeah, young athletic team, Valpo. Mast out of the timeout, and he needed that three, and so did his teammates. Third made three for Rick Mast, his 32nd made three of the year, and Bradley within seven. But they've used him in the post, he scored in there, and then that pick and pop move has been so dangerous. And ben Harvey answers. Oh, big answer. That was a huge three. And this time, Southern Illinois falls asleep. Yeah, real mistake. Slukies on their defensive rotation, and Kent gets an easy one. That might be what Kent needs to get going. Now, Harvey starting to, I call it testing fade a little bit. An early shot clock attempt there. Here comes East. And there is Mass with the tip in. Great read by Mass. He ran in from the left elbow area, timed it perfect, tipped in the miss. Brian Mullins has seen enough. He wants timeout. I'm not sure he was enthralled with the quick shot by Harvey. But so part of that break, it was even in the paint, and Bradley had to dominate with paint points. And look at this, back-to-back -back buckets at the rim. Yeah, they're getting that one on a back cut. And Mass with a great timing, soft hands. He knocked that one through the net for Bradley. Ryan Mullins needs to talk this over. You're right, though. You had Harvey took a quick shot. Bradley came right down and answered. But looking at points in the paint, again, it's something that Bradley to have to win this game, they had to dominate. And you look at the offensive rebounds. This is not a surprise. Bradley, a good offensive rebounding team. In fact, their best offense might be shoot and chase it. And Southern Illinois is not. Although, rebounding-wise, it's not like Southern's getting clobbered on the boards. They're just minus three, but that's actually a positive for them. Last in the league in offensive rebounding. That's seven offensive rebounds by the Braves. A lot more pressure on the perimeter. We thought that might be an adjustment that Brown Ordle would make. Harvey on the spinner out. Ooh, in and out. He was hitting, he's been hitting that shot all game. 
And again, they get the chain moving that time. Slips in and out. Fedorich enough at the goal. Very few transition points in this game. It's both these teams to get back. Look at one light ball turnover that Bradley turned into a basket here early in the second half. Sign of two well-coached teams. It's plus like in this league, you rarely get transition buckets. Oh, huge three for Plankin. That's a big answer to momentum here for the Salukis. Well, he slid the open wood, just slid down, got better spacing. Harvey delivered it for Plankin. Horse shot. Another Division II transfer, a rarity. Two D2 transfers that play a lot of minutes for Brian Mullen's team. for Plankin at Glenville State prior to coming to Carbondale. Yeah, that's in West Virginia, if you wonder where Glenville State is. Nashmore, the Olympic Games, they wave the Dutch flag as Rink Mast, or in FIBA terms, Rink Mast gets the bucket. He's getting Filowicz on his backside. Filowicz here returns the favor. Can he finish? Yeah, but he got big on Little. Rough rotation there for Bradley, and Filowicz has got six in the second half, ten for the game. Well, they get you caught in rotations, especially when you double the post. Filowich out, quick ball removal for Plankin, wide open on that left wing. Makes the Braves pay. That is the tip three-pointer of this game. I call it protrons and neutrons. It's, like, it's, it's the thing. It's why I enjoy watching Loyola play. Because when you get the Larry Bird player of the year, and you not have him tomorrow, um, and Cam Crutwig, he's like the nucleus of the atom. But you see all these protrons and neutrons moving. We're seeing that from Southern Illinois today as well. I didn't do that well in science class, Mitch. <laughs> well, I tell you what's refreshing, because I see a lot of college basketball where you don't see that. I just see get stuck in the mud, and I'm going to try to put on a dribbling exhibition. Well, and what someone also does, we mentioned earlier, the ball fake and the pass fake. Bobby Knight always talked about and preached the ball fake pass pick, and there's another great high low look. Oh. It slides out. Devonzo again, and I think he's re injured his leg. And he's trying to shake it off. He recovers on mast enough to been an easy basket. This is a country not heard from for a while. This will be a traveling violation. Remember how Darius Hanna started the game? Yeah, I got a quick four points. There's a turnover. Slukies holding on to a nine-point lead. Every so When we say crispy, juicy, tender, this is the juicy and tender, and this is the crispy. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Acura TLX, visit your Acura dealer today. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Magenta. I hate cartridges. Not magenta, not magenta. I'm not going back to the store. Magenta! Cartridges are so... The Epson Eco Tank. No more cartridges. It comes with an incredible amount of ink that can save you a lot of frustration. <laughs> the Epson Eco Tank. Just fill and chill. Available at... Limitless possibilities. The boldly new 2021 Nissan Kicks. Home is where dinner time sometimes means showtime. 
and sometimes magic time, and sometimes rodeo time. Pillsbury. He's been in control of this thing. Bradley trying to find a surge, trailing by nine. The winner plays Loyola tomorrow to start the quarterfinals. A reminder tonight, our Valley Scholar athlete of this game is Bradley's Antonio Thomas, a sophomore guard from Memphis. He's got a 3.35 GPA in criminal justice. And a reminder, when you want the real deal like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Thomas was big in that game against Drake. Their upset victory over the Bulldogs to knock Drake out of the tie for the regular season championship. He had 11 in that game. I'll tell you what was impressive. He was 7 of 8 at the foul line all down the stretch. Drake was forced to foul and Thomas made them all. I said he looked like Daniel Ruffin or some of those great guards, Jimmy Les, or some of the great Bradley guards of the past. Yeah, he was money in that line. I watched your call of that game. Well, how about that play? A set play for Brian Mullins out of the timeout to get an easy two for Dalton Banks. Again, that is the fifth basket at the rim for Southern Illinois in the first part of this second half. Well, that was a counter play. Then running Banks off those double flare screens. That time he just curled it and went right to the rim. Defender chasing, easy basket. Great play by Mullins at that timeout. So was that a read? Was that an option, depending on what you got to read the defense? I think there? it was a read from what they've seen the defense doing that. He was going to curl off both those screeners. Defender chasing, rim was going to be wide open. It lifted everybody else above the free throw line. <laughs> Another bucket at the rim. Again, this is a Southern Illinois team that lives off the three-point line. Not so much in the second half. Great adjustment by the Salukis. And Bradley answers quickly. That's McAdoo. Yeah, McAdoo's been quiet. They need some points out of their junior. A surprising second half. Only by the way Southern Illinois is doing this. But they spread you out with that three ball, and then they find an the opportunity to drive the lanes. Another cutter, and another easy bucket at the rim. This time, Devonzo has it. Filowicz has got a great stat line going. He's 5 of 5 from the field, 6 points, and that is second assist. If you watch the last three Southern Illinois baskets, they lived off the three in the first half. They don't have to in this half. There's that curl play out of the timeout. Banks goes around the circle and scores it. And then Verplanken sees an opening down the lane and scores the best. Now, what's the double teamer? The cut by DeVonzo as he reads the defender. The help side defense, Mitch, for the Bradley Braves is not sinking into the paint. Filowicz has been watching Crutwick tape because that was a Crutwick type pass to see the open cutter. One's to see it and others to execute the pass. But 60 to 47 Southern Illinois. And again, points in the paint actually led by the Salukis at 28 26. Because this half, Filowicz, three at the rim for Plank and one at the rim. Banks won at the rim, Harvey won at the rim, and Devonzo won at the rim. Bradley went to mass early in that half on the post. He's got 17, but then they've gone away from it. Mass, great three on the floater. He has got 20 points. And that is a new career high for him. He had 17 against Indiana State earlier this year. Well, he has a silky smooth release. Seven triples in the other two meetings against Southern. They failed to find him on the perimeter. Made the All-Valley freshman team. Devonzo did not look comfortable shooting that 17-footer. And a walk and out of control. McAdoo turns it over. And right now, these possessions are becoming priceless for Brian Wardle. And does not have the equity to just give them away like that. Well, Lance Jones, the point guard, goes out early. This Southern Illinois team only has four turnovers, one in the second half. And flawless execution. Eight on the other side for Bradley. Bradley. 
Man down, no call. Still plenty of time on the shot clock for the Salukis. But a good job there to draw contact, and Jim Harkness will call a foul against the Braves. Well, it was one of the better defensive stands by Bradley. Got it down to four in the shot clock. Then Trent Brown drives it as you should to the basket, gets the contact. Top of nine in with the foul and two shots here for Trent Brown. Active in the first half with three made threes and that's his first point of the second half. But either taking the ball at the basket more often than not, the cutter and the back cut is just eating Bradley alive here in the second half. Well, they're getting burned with their double team on the post. Cutters going right to the rim, but no backside rotation. Well, if you're Southern, you kind of like Mass hanging around that three-point line rather than going to post. I get him back in the block and get the big man a touch inside. But the ball was getting stuck trying to get it to him instead of getting it reversed and maybe getting him on the angle. Now Southern, I mean, these possessions start to become limited for Bradley. Filowich. And a good job by Mass that time. Yeah, that time no double on Filowich. Everybody locked onto the, their offensive man. Now Bradley's starting to force things. And he's trying to make a play where there was no play. And a foul, and this is going to be an offensive foul. Dalton Banks. Call for the foul, and Southern stays in control here. The Salukis extending their lead at 7.07 to go. When we say crispy, juicy, tender, this is the juicy and tender, and this is the crispy. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Accurate TLX, visit your Accurate dealer today. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Coming to you fresh-faced from home with new Lash Blast Clean Mascara. Ten times the volume, clean formula that's cruelty-free and vegan. Works for me, works for us, works for the planet. New Lash Blast, the clean mascara that works from CoverGirl. Verizon believes everyone deserves the best. That's why we start with 5G from America's most reliable network. Verizon 5G is next level. Then give families plans to mix and match, so you only pay for what you need starting at $35. We have so much more than this a great network. And offer the best in entertainment on select unlimited plans, like Disney+, Plus, Hulu, and ESPN+, Plus, as well as Discovery+, Plus, with a Galaxy S21 Plus 5G when you buy one. There's no reason to settle for less than the best, only from Verizon. Reese's eggs are back, and we hit them somewhere you'll never find. Psych! We put them everywhere. Grocery stores and supermarkets, gas stations and chiropractor's offices, bowling alleys and grocery stores, which we already mentioned. Not sorry, Reese's. This is star power from the jump. This is the best of the this game. Edition of Arch Madness, the opening game of the tournament being led by Southern Illinois, the last three-peat champion to, uh, and they're leading a team that's trying for a three-peat in Bradley. There's a look at Lance Jones. Again, if you joined us late, the great three-point shooter for the Salukis, injured earlier in the first half. And keep in mind, if you're thinking if Southern can win this game and play Loyola tomorrow, would they have him? I don't know, man. It's a quick turnaround. 
You're talking an 11 o'clock start tomorrow in that game. He looks like to be in good spirits, joking with his teammates, but I think it's presumptuous to think he can go tomorrow. Yeah, you can see how that thing swells up tonight. The trainer's going to be up all night working on that angle. But their ball movement without Lance Jones has been a excellent, Mitch. They've got 17 assists on 25 made field goals. Well, Bradley has stopped double teaming Filowitz inside. Yeah, but Filowitz got a sub on him there. There's Linky in to guard him, and Filowitz not able to finish with a tough angle, but Bradley's got to figure this in out as well. High low, there's a way to figure it out. Mast continues his big night. Career high again, 22 for Rink Mast. Well, he got the switch. Harvey on the Mast. They're able to reverse it and get it in over the top. I'd go down with the same play again. Mass, 22.7 boards. Still time for Bradley, but down 10. They need all of these possessions. Comes a late double on Mass. A missed opportunity there. It came out with double team. Bob and I had mishandled it. That ball fake. Five to shoot. And Lee Southern burned up some time. Tavanan and struggling. Well, that's a great look in transition. Step in three. Off the back of the rim. And he's battled illness. He missed that Saturday with victory over Drake. Didn't practice Monday or Tuesday. I believe yesterday was his first day of practice. But the Salukis can't extend the lead. The both teams struggled from distance in the last few minutes. Let's see if they get masked a touch inside again. You got Harvey on. You don't even need to do the switch. Running and guarding Linky. That's the problem. So they give him this shot and he banks it in. He'll take it. And so will Brian Wardle. They were just not guarding it. They were basically playing a yeah. double team on Mast. And Filowich just sinking in the middle behind Mast as Harvey tries to front. Daring Linky to shoot it. The extra pass. Now the shots aren't falling, but... Third time in this game, they have had a, actually fourth time in this game, they've had a second chance opportunity. And again, those are rare for the Salukis. And they've been off long shots and long rebounds. They also don't fail us to keep that possession alive. Fourth shot had to be there now. If Bradley scores here, it gets interesting. See what they do with Lanky. They're backing off of him. So Harvey's guarding Mass. This is big bucket. East, his first points of the second half, and it's game on. Six-point game and still 3.29 to go. Brian Mullins knows it. Yeah, Slokies have turned cold of late. Bradley has chipped away at this lead. They're only down by six. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy, and tender because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. Butter -ba -ba -ba. For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive Accurate TLX, visit your Accurate dealer today. Did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and more? So what are you waiting for? Captain Ahab to help you find a parking spot? Where she blow! Well, loading zones are to the northern lots where there be spaces as big as whales! Geico.
Riding a bike should be a really fun experience. We make low maintenance bicycles for everyday riders. We were coming off a great year and when the pandemic hit. It just stopped. We really had to think creatively. Teams allowed us to do what we call virtual visits. Hey, is that TK? Hi, how are you? We're able to see two or threefold the amount of customers from all over the world. Without teams, there's no way this would have been possible. And I really think it's gonna set a standard for retail moving forward. This isn't just a Wi-Fi upgrade. This is XFi Complete from Xfinity. With unlimited data and advanced security, you'll have complete peace of mind online and will ensure that you get the most Wi-Fi coverage. Learn more about XFi Complete today. Coming to you fresh-faced from home with new Lash Blast Clean Mascara. Ten times the volume, clean formula that's cruelty-free and vegan. Works for me, works for us, works for the planet. New Lash Blast, the clean mascara that works from CoverGirl. This is star power from the jump. This is the best of the bad guys this game. A look again at downtown St. Louis. The home of Arch Madness. 31 years of this great postseason tournament. One of the best in all of NCAA college basketball. And this opening game is not disappointed. Here's a look at our game reset made possible by Snooks, a proud supporter of the Valleys. We head to crunch time. Neither team has fouled at all in this game, so they're a long way from the bonus. But both teams only have one timeout left. That's the only thing we're short of here. We still have 325 to go. Possession belongs to Southern Illinois. And Southern's largest lead was 13. They've turned cold of late. Shawnees with a big basket for Bradley in that last possession, but I still want to see him go back to rape pass in the post when Bradley gets the ball back. Mitch Holtis along with Kevin Lehman here to start the tournament. Now, one thing you like to see is what teams will do out of the timeout. Brian Mullins called this timeout. He scored off two such timeouts. They got something tricky here. Well defended by Bradley. Filovich, one on one toss. That was huge. Bradley electing not to double him in the last five or six minutes. Filovich just feels his way and finishes at the basket. Wild shot by McAdoo. Going to big man again. So if they try to repost him and go back in there, again, Harvey of the big first half. Just went one for a flat to get Harvey a shot. East, giant three. Got the defender back on his heels. And he just pulls up and splashes it. Five-point game, but again, Bradley only has one timeout left. We're at the 151 mark. Also keep in mind, neither team put the Galaxies away from the bonus. Harvey, what a take in an end. What opportunity. Ben Harvey, the open floor, 19 for Ben Harvey. Harvey just takes it out, his do-it-yourself kit. Tava Nainen crosses him over, faces strong at the rim, big basket. And Harvey now at the free throw line. Harvey, 76% at the line for the year. He had 12 of his 19 in the first half. He's had three threes. The winning plays here down the stretch for Southern Illinois in the last couple of minutes. Well, he's the one guy that can take it one-on-one. -on -one. He's the defender off the bounce. A reminder, our next Valley production coming up.
right after this one. It's a presentation of live by Low St. Louis. It continues from here in Arch Madness 2021. The 10th seeded Redbirds of Illinois State meet the Northern Iowa Panthers, the 7th seed. It'll begin right after this one, 8 p.m. Central, the scheduled start time. If you want to experience laid-back luxury in the heart of downtown St. Louis, adjacent to Ballpark Village, visit Live by Lowe's. Hotels.com slash live by Lowe's St. Louis, Missouri, to book your hotel room tonight. And again, there are going to have to be a lot of fouling here by Bradley because Southern, that is just 14 fouls. Now look for them to foul immediately again. Antonio Thomas, Antonio Thomas had a look at the rim last possession. This is smart, though. You're going to burn off some seconds. This is really smart. I mean, Southern Illinois has shown a lot of a basketball IQ in this game. Well, you're in that great play on that timeout. Got, got the freshman of basket, Dalton Banks. Great game out of inside by the big man Filowich. He's got 12 points, six of eight, seven rebounds by Filowich. Brian Harvey's going, wait a minute. I only got one timeout left. I didn't call it. And nobody called it. It's play on here. But usually you want to say, hey, make a team go back toward our goal. Yes, there it's actually their advantage because Bradley's wants to foul. They burned up five seconds. They'll foul Harvey immediately and do exactly that. But just a minute to go and Bradley running out of time. And this has been impressive. Southern Illinois has done this without Lance Jones, who had two uh, big threes early, but then he injured his lower leg. He was hands he want to get this in, Trent Brown. And that'll put him in the bonus at 58.9, and Brown is 68%, two of two in this game. They wanted to get it in Harvey's hands, but Bradley double teamed him, then end up with Brown. And if some of you are thinking, well, Southern, if they win, they got to play Loyola tomorrow. They're 20th rank in the country. Whoa. Go back to last Saturday. Overtime in Chicago. A free throw miss, Kevin, or Southern might have won that game. Had a chance. Lance Jones at the line. Got a follow on three with about three seconds left. And remember that Brian Mullins was on the staff at Loyola. He knows the way they think. And now Southern Illinois looks like they're going to get this done. It was a three-point barrage in the first half for the Salukis, but in the second half, a great adjustment because they were able to get it done at point-blank range, and they just have handled this in the last 10 minutes in an honor roll fashion for Brian Mullins. And Filowicz got that big basket in the post where they didn't double-team. And Brown shoved that up there like it was a medicine ball. Nasty trying to get those pick and pop looks. East, not enough of this for Bradley. 16 for him. And that final timeout will be used by the Braves. It's time now to announce our players of the game, a presentation of State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, Ben Harvey stepped up big in the first half. When Lance Jones goes out, he has 12 of his 20 in the first half. And Rick Mass was great the entire game, inside, outside, knocked in some three balls, post up strong. And Harvey started this from long range. But he got it done in about every way, shape, or form in this game. Well, strong finish at the rim by Harvey. And there's that ISO play. They got him in the middle. His outstanding balance on the pivot. Stepped out and hit the three ball for the Slukies. Harvey with a huge game for Southern Illinois. The Jonesboro, Arkansas native. Again with 20. And for Rick Mast, he's got 22 of the 61 in a really good line. 
for the uh, native of the Netherlands. Yeah, he hit four triples, but he was good inside early on the post. And there's their pick and pop move. He's heavily touched from outside. Great timing on the tip. And there is an old school post move. Mast with 22 on 15 shots. It gives you hope going into next year for Bradley. There's Mast again, part of the all freshman team this year in the Valley. Bradley loses this. This will be uh, end of what a, quite a run for them. Repeat champions of Arch Madness in 2019 and 2020. They won four titles. If they would have won this game, it would have been a seventh straight Arch Madness victory for Bradley. That would have tied the second longest for any team in the history of the tournament. But it looks like it's not going to be. And Southern Illinois has played outstanding in this game. Five turnovers in their point guard only played a total of six minutes. Harvey came off the bench to have an excellent game for the Slukies. Some big baskets out of Brown early. Some token pressure to slow up the basketball. They're going to use their fouls too, Mitch. Well, they got four to burn up to get to the one and one, and they can. Use these to actually burn up about five to seven seconds. Yeah, they also had it the first half. This is a Southern Illinois team that defends at a high level without fouling. You have to switch inside. Good job by Brown not to foul on that. Bradley running out of time. But again, what a run it has been for the Braves. Yeah, the last possession, Southern, they're, they're going to elect to switch on the perimeter, take away the three ball. It gave Mass the easy basket inside. What a game this kid's had, Ben Harvey. He'll need to do it again in about 16 hours. But a team that has no fear of Loyola. I mean, we picked that up. This week, they, they want to play him again. Well, they battled him that way Friday night. It was an eight-point win by Loyola. Then came back on that Saturday night where they took him in overtime. And they were down big in that game, Mitch. Southern Illinois at the Gentil Center in Rogers Park and made that big run. Our two players of the game, both with 24 points for their respective teams. And that'll end it. And the Southern Illinois Salukis, again, what a, a great tradition here in St. Louis down through the years. The only team that's ever won this tournament three years straight makes sure that that streak stays alive because Bradley, their attempt to win it three years in a row, ends tonight. And the Southern Illinois Salukis, Kevin, get ready for tomorrow at 11 o'clock because Southern will try to do it again, try to upset Loyola. And they see if they get Lance Jones. He had 30 Saturday night against Loyola. Will he be able to go tomorrow? That's going to be the big question mark for the Southern Illinois, but they stepped up huge tonight without their point guard. You'll see the Salukis face the Ramblers tomorrow at 11. Let's go to the bracket, your updated bracket. The Salukis, again, will try to upset Loyola last year in 8 beat a one when Drake upset Northern Iowa for the first time ever in the history of the tournament. Can it happen again tomorrow against the 20th-ranked Ramblers? Coming up after this game, you'll see that number 7-10 game. Northern Iowa will play Illinois State as we continue with Arch Madness. And the winner of that game will take on second-seeded Drake. Kevin... Quickly here, great job by Southern Illinois. They'll have to do it again tomorrow in 16 hours. They made the adjustments they had to make, especially with Jones going out. And both ends of court, offensively and defensively, gutsy performance by Brian Mullen's squad. Appointment watch. You don't want to miss it tomorrow. Could it be an upset? The 20th ranked team in the country will have to beat this team from Southern Illinois again, this time in Arch Madness.